Hey all, this is Twana. Today we're going to be discussing the top 10 characters for Dark Dimension 3. Now these are basically based off of characters that people have been making use of that have been incredibly useful in the progression through Dark Dimension 3, both through Global, City, and the uh, Cosmic Nodes. Now I did try and make sure that there was kind of a balance between the three here, but I also wanted to more show off the characters that are going to be super powerful there. So keep in mind that obviously when you're going to be building a team, you're going to be wanting to make sure that you've got a balance of both cosmic city and global and both uh, all these like the five different traits the uh, mutant bio um, tech etc uh, making sure that you have all of these here um, kind of covered and you're not kind of stacking up all of your kind of eggs in one basket um, make sure that you also want to make sure that the characters they're going to be using overall um, obviously if you kind of wanted to do a uh, shield trooper for example just because he's free keep in mind that one you're not going to be making use, much use of him outside of this and two catalysts are the biggest issue when i'm like i'm building towards dark dimension 3 at the moment Catalysts are causing me more issues than mini uniques at the moment. Um, just even just the, both these, uh, like the uh, superior basic catalysts and like the damage catalysts and stuff like that, they're all very annoying to get and to farm up. So you kind of want to make sure that you're not spending them on characters who are just going to be useless essentially. Like, yes, they can deal damage, but they aren't going to be all that eventually so let's start with number 10 number 10 we've got black bolt now keep in mind that he's mostly low here because the only thing he's bringing is damage yes that damage is insane but he is only going to be bringing damage now unfortunately he's going to be a bio character as well which is a bit of a pain because some of the characters that are necessary for later areas like symbiote spider-man are bio which makes it kind of a pain to get him. But his damage is just crazy off the charts. Now he's got decent-ish cooldowns, but that's not going to matter too much because you're just going to be grinding through the nodes anyway. You're just going to kind of have to rely on being able to get those cooldowns up eventually. Uh, the good thing is that he's also going to give himself max health and resistance. So he's going to be really good at being able to kind of take a couple hits as well. Now, number nine, we've got Vulture. Now, people might kind of disagree with me here, but I think Vulture is one character that is going to be insane in those later nodes, and some people have already shown that he is very insane. He has the option to rewind this speed bar. He's going to be applying slow, which is crazy, crazy good, especially when you pair it with Symbio with Spider-Man. He's also going to apply offense down to any city heroes that you're going to be fighting. He's going to get speed bar on spawn based on city heroes. But the best part is that if any enemies die, he gets speed bar, and if any allies die, he gets deflect. So that means that you're going to be able to kind of keep going. He also gets block chance based on any city hero enemies. Now, next up, we've got Shuri, just mostly because she's just insane for that defense up, being able to pump defense up, being able to pump out heals as well, and then a generating ability energy for herself is really helpful. Uh, she can also generate ability energy for any kind of allies as well, which is going to be great. Applying the heal block isn't going to be super useful overall, but it is going to be very helpful. Now next up we've got Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is just there because he just applies so many bleeds which are really crazy high damage especially when you extend them with Spider-Man, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. Then he's got the big nuke with his ultimate with the offense down and the defense down. And then, worst case scenario, any of your allies die, he's just then going to blast them in the face. He also gets max health and focus from himself, which means that he's going to be buffing himself, making himself better and being able to take a couple hits as well. Now, next up, we've got Minerva. Minerva was the original goddess of Dark Dimension. Mostly because she steals health, which means it, she's dealing percent, percent based damage. So the health pools for normal allies are like, uh, sorry, normal enemies are like this. The health pools for Dark Dimension 3 allies are like way out here, which means she's dealing more damage, which means this is going to be insanely good for uh, being able to kind of take that, um, take that health, fully heal your own team and deal more damage as well. Now, next up, we've got Mr. Sinister. He's just super powerful for his ability to be able to clone someone, give himself the clone, 
and then being able to have an additional person essentially they're like it's like a summon that has a full character's kit and has decent health especially because there is some really good characters for you to be able to clone he also generates ability energy for himself on spawn which means that when you go into a node he's going to be able to generate ability energy for himself he also gives himself max health which is super helpful as well and he has the healing for both himself and for um any mutant allies as well which is going to be super good now next up in number four we've got hella the uh, i think that she might drop down a little bit in use based on some of the new uh, based on one of the next characters that comes up but she is still probably a mandatory character for dark dimension three she just is crazy being able to clear all these death proofs spread all those debuffs apply disrupt and the Greg's being able to rewind time as well is just going to be super good. She also removes the death proofs, which is good because it means that you're not going to have to worry about them. And she applies heal, uh, sorry, she heals herself and applies regen to herself. And so that's just going to be really, really strong. Uh, and then the ability to also bypass taunt is going to be really good as well. Now, number three, we've got Ebony Moore, a newcomer. He very similar to Minerva in the fact that he's going to be able to steal health from enemies, which means he's dealing percent base damage, which means he's also healing your team. Um, now, the other thing is that he's going to fill speed, uh, sorry, fill the speed bar of your team and reduce the speed bar of the enemy team. Now, this does count himself, so even if you just have him, he's still going to be doing that a little bit. Then he's also giving defense up counter offense down to the enemies kind of like a mixture between like um yo-yo shuri and uh like scientist supreme or something like that being able to kind of chuck out all those debuffs uh, chuck down the offense down chuck up the defense up being able to steal this health is going to be super good now if you can combine him with minerva you're just going to blitz through the um the cosmic area now the other thing is that if there's any hero controllers he's also going to buff up your characters with barrier and that immunity as well which is going to be super good next in number two we've got symbio spider-man basically required for city don't go into city without him he's going to be able to extend blood buffs and apply bleeds he's going to do defense down he's going to be able to stun and slow everyone on the enemy team he also has the um, the extra kind of dark dimension bonus where he can heal off the negative effects that are applied and he gains drain uh, now he gets dodge chance as well which is super helpful and uh, extra max health now if you combine him with like carnage as well it's going to be super good and venom if you can combine all three symbiotes are going to be really easy blitz through the city area chucking the three symbiotes chucking ghost rider and chucking vulture and boom you're done and next up in number one, the number one character for Dark Dimension 3, Phoenix. Now, I shouldn't have to explain this, but for those people who don't know, first of all, every time she dies, and it, uh, she respawns as Dark Phoenix. Now, this is a summon, which means she's going to start with all her abilities charged. She starts with this Vitality Drain, dealing 20% max health. Uh, 20% health to the enemies then if she survives one turn after that on her next turn sorry if she survives after doing that on her next turn she's also going to do the massive ult which deals a heck of a lot of damage as well now interesting fact phoenix's cooldowns reset every day when you go into dark dimension 3 or if you res her her heal uh, her cooldowns are all going to reset so you have the opportunity of using this stealth to kind of manipulate rng to make sure that she dies or the rest of your team survives or wherever you want to be able to do that which is interesting the fact that this kind of resets she also gives herself damage and health which is super good but those are the top 10 characters that I think for Dark Dimension 3. I'll go through them again. 10, you've got Black Bolt. 9, you've got Vulture. 8, you've got Shuri. 7, you've got Ghost Rider. 6, you've got Minerva. 5, you've got Sinister. 
four, you've got Hala. Three, you've got Ebony Moore. Two, you've got Symbiote Spider-Man. And one, you've got Phoenix. I'd love to know if there's any characters that you guys think that I mixed, uh, missed and who you've brought in. I think Ebony Moore is going to be the newest, best character to bring along just because of these buffs that he gives and the stealing of the health. He's like Minerva combined with Shuri and combined with a heck of a lot of other stuff. It's just really, really good. Not necessarily saying that you should bring in him in if you don't uh sorry not saying you should bring him in and then bring all the black order in but just him alone is going to be really good but anyway i hope you guys had a great day and goodbye <laughs>